from the lands of Papua to the Isa Tapua Islands, going through the place of Haulua to reach the massive mountain of Kooni, and finally end up at Vanualevu. All those destinations invite us on a journey bound for mysterious civilizations which populated Oceania and yet connoted as dark and wild places. Maybe the scientific name Melanesia, which Monsieur Duval gave while discovering the region, brought fears into the minds of the travelers or held stories that missionaries carried back to the continent when they were victims of a black-skinned population and vice versa, far away from Africa. The first thing that came on my mind was the sun drawing. And starting from the sun drawing, like uh, the link with the universe, the people from the ring of fire, like what we call Melanesia, the connection they have with this spirit world and all the gods who were once real men and warriors. From that, with the performing, the dance performance, and I did this connection that a warrior is a dancer. Dance is, it, it's like a story. It puts the warrior in a different position. It's like a man of war, a man of fight, but also a man of telling story, who is performing a heart dance with all the paintings, the chant. So you see the warriors in a different way, you know, with something to say, something to show. And that's what I wanted to be represented in this idea of the whole ring of fire, like what we call Melanesia. Yeah, reveal that to the people, because yeah, many times they know about us through postcards, through TV advertisement or news, but then they don't know who we are really and the connection that we feel the connection that we have with uh, the hansen world and that's the thing that i try to put in together and i decided you know, to organize this kind of reunion of all the performers from all this population from the ring of fire Torres Strait to down New Caledonia, Kanake, and get them together to do something, you know, just leave the magic happen, and it happened. And then uh, we try to, you know, put those performances which each one brought from Solomon to Isatabu, and from Papua, PNG, from Vanuale, Bufici, from Kone, Kanaki. We try to get everything into one saucepan, one lap lap, one homu, one thing that we can share together. Uh, us and every people who want to know about us, really. Knowing that our ancestors used to travel from islands to islands, not caring about the name of the country, I maintain that the region was more than just five nations of Melanesia. It was a route inviting or self-guarding people to meet their neighbors. In fact, the Ring of Fire is the road followed by many when the land of Papua, the freezy hair, was the land of wars and terror. So many made a long journey on the sea by canoes to reach the island of Isatabu, the holy place. 
where queens and kings provide refuge. Stories report that those monarchs departed on nine ken to explore the rest of the Pacific Ocean. Stories of kings and queens departing from the Isatabu group of islands by Kenu led the caravan through Vanualevu, which will become the gateway for the noble procession to settle their kingdoms along the South Pacific. I think Melanesia um, it's more than um, physical appearance. It's more about um, the cultures that we share, the many similarities that we have in our um, languages and our lifestyle and the way we do things like our custom and traditions. Yeah. Our connections, they start Southeast Asia and then move all the way to Aotearoa. We are part of that journey. You can see it through our language, you can see it through our dance, through our tattooing. We are completely connected. The ocean was not a barrier, it was um, it was the doorway, it was the way, it was our highway. You can see it in everything. And it all obviously all started with the Lapita culture. So yeah, we've been um, interconnecting for a really long time. I mean, different dances have their own stories. Like every dance has its own um, meaning and um, why they do that dance. But um, like I do the dance to identify myself with the tribe, the Mekia tribe. And um, the bilas that I wear is um, uh, a part of my family um, heritage, like the lineage. It shows that relationship, yeah. So um, I dance to show my identity. Coming here, this experience is something that is making me think about um, the contemporary and how um, the traditional and the modern can be well combined to come up with a um, contemporary that preserves the traditional and embraces the modern. And I mean, there's a balance in between. Mm. Today I'm working with a lot of different medium in my artwork, drawing, video, volume, installation, architecture, sound, sharing a lot with people. All the process is very important in my job. Well, it was funny because I remember for the first meeting with Roussette Marcel, it was difficult always with my English, and after Ruth write me a mail to say me, well, we have a dance festival in Hamrim in Vanuatu, and you have to come. And I say, why? I'm not a dancer. Why I have to come? What I do? No, just uh, for the feeling with the people. Mm -hmm. So uh, we stay there. And for me, I am a uh, plastician artist, and I, I think it's always important to share your heart with different medium. So it was a very great experience for me because the time for the creation is not the same time with the dancer. And for me, it's my first experience, all the dancers <coughs> with all people of Melanesia. And you feel like you are with your family, oh. with your brothers. Maybe in, at the beginning, I don't know nobody's, but now I know they are all my family because we have this same feeling in, the, in what we have to do in the creation, maybe not with the same time, but with the same, same mind, yes, mm. I think. And it was very wonderful for me, because it gave me a lot of things, I think. I know, I'm sure. Since two years now, I work a lot with uh, plastician artists, so visual art. I think that's a new, I need 
this one. So, so I, I, I create less in love with a dancer, but I try to make a connection with a visual arts. The experience uh, in Ambrim so was amazing because uh, that was my first experience to, to make a, like a workshop. Uh, not in the city, but uh, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, in the small island from the, so like Vanuatu, and uh, not Purvila, not Epate, but Sonava or Ambrim. And I think it was very powerful for me. The, the first connection was, the, for me it was magic, because the first time, the first day when we, we start to work, so something like, uh, you know, it's something happened, so I think it's the environment where we were and the, all the people here, the village, the, the, the people from the village were just sitting here and just looking and watching what I, what I would do, what were we doing at this time. We tried to, to work on sound and show me your moves, some of moves, but the same. Something a little bit different, but uh, the same, and the feeling is the same. For me, what's a very b b big experience, and to meet the, p the, the, the people from the village too, uh, they were so humble and so kind. A uh, lot of things we, uh, we did, and we were so happy to, to see, and like us, so we were so happy to be here, to, to be there. The performance is it's like the voice of this culture, but really everything to do with culture, life, the social side of it, yeah. everything to do with culture plus deep inside the culture. We have an artist from Ambrim, Tio. He's a musician, he's also a performer. His place is in the road, in the path to the volcano. I thought it's good to bring it to Ambrem, to my place. For me, this the whole thing, I, I see it's more like to learn things from another. The village we, we went is Emio Tungan, the name of the village. I thought it's a good idea to bring it there, and it means nakamal or fight. Well, Ambrim have this feeling to be very strong island. All the feeling we have together in Ambrim, and sharing of the Melanesian people, and we are here isolated, walking together, eating together, and from what we live together there, and what the people of the island of Melanesia give uh, to us. I'm from this land of Malakula. That used to be the name of Vanuatu for the travelers. People from the Ring of Fire and the whole ocean of the Pacifica. We believe that we have uh, a relation, a connection with the spirit world and the gods up there. And the connection that Ambrim have with the spirit world, with the volcanoes and with the belief that in Malekula that the spirits have an afterlife, he has to do a journey from his place back to south of Malakula and then cross the sea to go inside the volcano and then enter the spirit world. A lot of energy comes up from, from this week because we, uh, we had to go for a walk at the volcano and the volcano is, uh, I think for me, it's what's uh, 
the best experience in my life. Eventually, the noise of slick gang drums playing randomly, the conch shells blowing to call neighbors, and the screams of warriors running following the foreigners' ships, terrified and terrifying. So much writing reports, terrifying things only. And slowly, from these days until now, the islands from the darkness became a touristic destination for all. Welcome to rest. But for Nico, I think the, the space it creates, the idea comes from last year when the, the, during this week in Ambry. Yeah, with Nico uh, for the installation, we wanted the audience to experience the magical side of the Ring of Fire, really, like what we call Melanesia. And the installation that Nico did, wow, <laughs> it's just amazing. Like it uh, really transcribe or trans draw or trans dance the the, the feeling, the, the the idea, the thoughts, all all the conversation that we had really. Through his works. So I think we can see the attention he had with uh, his, his culture. To take the, um, the cast, the traditional house, and uh, um, all the, um, the forest inside, and with the characters like it, so it reminds uh, the character of the legend. To see the old and see in the space, so my gosh, yes. What I like in this space, like the traditional houses, is so, something like when uh, all the people, the, the, our portrait for inside, so everyone, it's like, because so, the, the, um, the, the traditional houses is the, 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 the place where the, all the, the chief of every clan, the tribe, they had to let, discuss about the meeting, you know, and that's a the, the good representation. 
for us, you know, that from Papuasi, from New Zealand, and seeing that's like a, a meeting about Melanesian people inside a, a traditional house. For entry in the case, also traditional in my country, in my country, um, we are obliged to a little bit uh, down because for for show first time uh, the respect and is is a culture for the Australian project. When I come here and show the 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 work of Nico is very is very good. And Nico show my culture, same culture with Arusha. And for me, it's very, very clear. In the room, I see a jungle. And in my country, uh, now, contemporary time, people live for island, we stay uh, in the sea. Eh? But uh, before, 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 the, the real traditional house in the jungle, not uh, close to sea, because uh, colonial and, um, religion, pray. And when I see the uh, uh, first part, yeah, we follow the sea, uh, representation, symbolic of uh, new population, Austronesian people come to sea, like my uh, clan. clan because my name is one of them, is a fish, mm, symbolic fish. And when I see that, I, I understand, yeah, it's really good. It's a place where the night mingles with the day and the colors and the black and white and the non colors and all that in one place. And we wanted to show too, through the installation, what you don't see, what, what, what's beyond the beach, what's after that, you know, the inner country. And with the house, which is the place, like it can be a nakamal, it can be like Kaz in Lifu or, or in Solomon, a farea or falea, or a place where you can just, you know, rest and uh, it can be kind of being unseen by the unseen world. They look at you, it's about our ancestor, what is in the plants and all, all of this, the invisible world. So they are always looking at us and we are to be careful in what we do and wha how we live today. They look at you too, you have always the two cents in my job. I'm mixed, so you have always this. So you have this, it's about our ancestors and our uh, roots, what we feel. But the other thing, it's the big brothers, they look at you too. Because <laughs> I speak about virtuality, I said about the philosopher Platon, the cave of Platon. So. You have always this two sides in my job, I think. And for me, it's not important to understand. I think people, when they arrive inside and they say, see the people who's playing with them, understand what's happened and why I choose this title for the installation. In my culture, the, the, it's very important, the spirit. Normally, the, the spirit is very, very small. Uh, look like goblin, very, very small. And in my culture, the goblin symbolize uh, the area, grandpa, grandma, when, when he dead, is not go to sky, transform, eh? transform goblin. And when I see the, um, the production, uh, you see the, um, the spirit touch the three, and give to um, give energy is is very good because uh, for for me for my culture we think the um, the energy the magic um, transit with the three and and for magic and for 
medical is a good uh, little preview f for my culture, I think. Yes. In this installation, we want the audience to experience a journey into the ring of fire where the reality mingles with dreams, where white becomes black and colorful, when the night welcomes spirit and sorcerers while the day holds the hands of life. Nowadays, contemporary artists are transdancing these values, and by dying them, in the dynamic performance of the diversity of the identities and also resiliencing their cultures in the face of a Western system invading the lands. The contemporary views of the performers and the acts should bring the audience to a better understanding of the reason why dances are to be perpetuated and taught. As legends gush out from warriors' mouth, those same warriors were once dancers, performing the communion, the achievement of the cycle, waiting for the tempered lights from the dust to come and shine glamour to unite. With the elements, gridding the ground, briefing the dust, blending voices and steps, the dancer is a warrior, and the dance our existence. The performance to activate the, the installation was like really, we wanted to do it like, really wanted it because that's how it happens really in every place in the world. People come and activate the land. You know, everyone, each king is from, in his own country to everyone comes together and activate the lands and the meeting in the reunion that we had at Ambrim and for the performers coming together try to represent by dances or by chant the whole thing and uh, that's what we want to do with the performance too at the beginning at the opening it's to activate the land activate the space, uh, how they did before, and we transport it to now. We wanted the audience, the public, to experience a journey, really, a journey. A journey where the only thing you have to do is just sit down and watch the landscape. You know, the same thing uh, what our ancestors did on canoes going through night and days on the water and how the passenger can f feel to the transition between the day and the night. Like slowly see the, the sun go drowning and setting and then dark and the stars and try to mingle all that in the installation to have a concentrate of the ring of fire without fire. Huh. But with a fire like the fire is is in the place really. Yumi Danis has reaffirmed the way we work and to see, um, because we're so used to working in isolation, we don't normally work with other Melanesian performers, artists. How very Melanesian Yumi Danis is in its approach and how we, uh, the relationship between people and how we sort of combine to, you know, make it work, which just proves that we've always had connection with each other, you know, in, in Oceania past and now, you know, present. Uh, working with uh, Yumi Danis, we start last year. I think it's not um, not a ending story. I think because we we made a connection now. Maybe next time. So maybe in two months uh, we met again and uh, for new collaboration. Maybe not with uh, all together. I think it's very important for for every artist to 
to live li uh, the experience like this. I'm working for the other always. And if it's not the dancer, it's for the public too. Thinking in this is the most important. It's what I say, my person is not important. I do my job no more. And after, it's a gift for everybody. Voilà.